Hello everyone, it's Daryl again with my trusty cameraman Doug and Tinsel the Christmas Cat taking a little nap over there as we furiously prepare for the Christmas decorating season here. We've reached that age-old dilemma that everybody comes across and hates. What to do when the Christmas lights don't work. And these particular ones here are fairly expensive LED lights, a hundred strand of bright blue LEDs we bought just a year ago and now half of the lights don't work. So LEDs are a special breed of light. They're totally different than what you might have experienced working on the old style incandescent lights. So we're going to show you first, the very basic step here is to check the fuse. Even though half of these lights light up, LEDs operate on two separate circuits. So it's possible one of these fuses could be bad. So here you come up here with a close-up on the camera. I'm going to show you where the fuse is. The fuses are built into the plug-in here. And there's a little slider window that you push open to access the fuses, like so. And there they are, both in between. So what we're going to use, we're going to use our trusty digital multimeter here, set to the ohm scale. And on the ohm scale, oops, that's volts. I'm going to go one more click to ohms. There we go. The ohm scale, when we touch it together, we should get all zeros on the meter if the fuse is good. So we're going to place one contact on one side of the fuse and the other contact on the other side of the fuse and the ohm gauge should go to all zeros if this is good. And that's a good fuse. All right, now we're going to move to the other side and do the same thing there. Oh, look at that. That's all zeros too. That we are close to all zeros. So let me try it again. Yep, there we go. That's a good fuse too. Oh, well, that's bad news for us. That means that the fuses are both good. And when the fuses are both good, the next step we do, actually, do it either way, would be to go to the end of the plug if you have end-to-end -end plugs. Check the end of the plug in both of the outlets here with your ohm meter. Well, this time we're going to set it on voltage. And this meter is auto-ranging, so it senses whether it's AC or DC. But if you have a different kind of meter, you want to set it on AC voltage. And by inserting your test lead into the end here, if everything's working properly, you should have about 120 volts. And I don't have the other end plugged in right now to show you 120 volts, but I did it just a minute ago, and there's no voltage at this end of the outlet either. So since the fuses are bad, or good, sorry, fuses are good, and there's no voltage all the way through the system here, that tells us that there's either a break in the wire or a failed LED bulb module. And that's going to be a bit of a trouble to try and track down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull each bulb out individually, look for rust or damage to the contacts or to the bulb itself and put it all back together and see if that fixes the problem. If that doesn't fix the problem, then it gets a lot more complicated trying to diagnose and it's probably not going to be worth the time and effort to do it. Well, thanks for watching and we hope your Christmas season is bright and cheerful with lots of lights and happy things going on. Um, if you need to check your lights, hopefully you know a little bit more about how to go about checking them on the LED lights.